So my Ipsy bag and my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus just came today. This is the first month for this. So I think you pay $20. I tried to go to the website to see, but it's not showing me how much it costs. But you do pay more money to get like full size items, I believe. I don't really know too much about it. I just said yes when I got the email. And I was under the impression that I would only be getting this one from now on, like the big one, but they still sent me the regular one too, so I'm not really sure what's happening. But I thought it would be cool to open. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this one first, the original. So we get this little leather and gold bag. So the first thing in here is a brush. This is from Farah, I believe. Looks like it's just a blending brush. Then I got a Bang Beauty blush, which I think I got a Bang Beauty eyeliner in my BoxyCharm once. So it's kind of like a corally shade with a little bit of a sheen in it. Then I got a Benefit Gimme Brow, a little baby size. Oh yes, okay, I literally just used up my entire tub of this. This smells so good. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. This is the Super Nourishing Coconut and Fig Hair Mask by Coco and Eve Like a Virgin. I bought the whole tub. I think the whole tub was like $50. It smells like Play-Doh and coconut. I don't know, I'm obsessed, but how crazy is that that I just I literally just used it up like two days ago and now I have some more. Then I have a Juice Beauty Stem Cellular 2-in-1 Cleanser. And then just the card that comes in Ipsy. And there's one thing. Is this full size? This is the Laritzi Cosmetics. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And this is a gloss. Mm. It's just like this kind of plum purpley shade. So let's move on to the bigger box. All right, let's see what's in this. I'm pretty sure it said full size, but I could be wrong. I honestly don't remember. Okay, so this is what the inside of the box looks like. So it looks like it's packaged almost exactly like BoxyCharm. So it says Glam Bag, <clears throat> Glam Bag Plus, don't be pretty like them, be pretty like you. So it says, hey, Ipster, it's time to dig into your December Glam Bag Plus. So this is just gonna tell me, so this is exactly like BoxyCharm where it tells you what each product is and how much it retails for. So let's see. We got a Laboratories Chlorine Shampoo, dry shampoo with oat milk. Why do I feel like I had this on my Amazon? I feel like I had this in my cart on Amazon. So let's see how much that retails for. So this retails for $20. Then we have a, okay, so it is all full size products. Awesome, okay, so then we have an Estee Lauder uh, lipstick in the shade Pure Love, I think. No, Strapless. I just started getting into Estee Lauder. I love them. Oh, look at this. This is nice. It kind of looks like Dior. Ooh, and it's just like a nice mauve shade. <gasps> Yay. This retails for $22.50, so we're at $42.50 so far. Then we have a 111 skin or 111 skin vitamin C brightening booster. That's what this looks like. What is this? Developed by renowned Harley Street plastic surgeon, plastic surgeon, um, 
It says, working to improve dull and lax skin. This highly concentrated booster targets signs of hyperpigmentation and irregular skin tone, both helping to reduce and prevent discoloration. The result is brighter skin with enhanced luminosity. I don't know if I really need something like this. But this is what it looks like. Let's see how much this retails for. That retails for... Damn! This retails for $180. What? <laughs> then we have the Smith & Colt, which I, I just heard of not too long ago. Book of Eyes Eye Quad Palette. This thing is $44. Okay, so so far they've already beat BoxyCharm and value. Oh, that's cool. Is this supposed to look like that? <laughs> um, I'll probably put this in a giveaway because I don't use like little quads like this. But that's cool. Then we got a set of brushes from that Fara brand or whatever. They gave me that little one in the original bag. This is valued at $40. And then the last thing is Oh, a clutch. Well, that's cool. I wonder if we'll get like a little clutch bag in all of them. <laughs> so let's add this up really quick. 40. So this bag was valued at $306. Not too bad. Another boring OOTD. I'm wearing this Six Flags sweatshirt that I got when we were there. I'm gonna wear this again on Saturday, so be excited. Then I'm wearing these red Forever 21 joggings. They're like $12, I have a bunch of colors. And yes, of course I'm wearing these Nikes again. Look like sure. Um, so we're gonna go run some errands. I need to mail another giveaway. I need to exchange a Fenty Beauty liquid lipstick because I think I got a bad one because when I swatched it, it burned the back of my hand. So I need to exchange that and then I need to take a pair of Lululemon leggings back because the side started to unravel and I've only worn them like three times. And I always heard that you could take them back for it's like a lifetime warranty I think but I I just thought it was like a rumor but then last time we were down there I asked and it's totally true so yes they're expensive but if you have lifetime warrant like warranty is that the word I want? yes lifetime warranty then they're totally worth the money so I need to take those back I think that's it yeah that's it oh and I need to go to the grocery store So I just took my Lululemon leggings back. So it is true, they do take them back. Like I said, I thought it was like just a rumor, but no, they really took them back. And I was kind of looking around the store, but like, I feel like I only like one type of leggings and the ones I took back are not the ones I like. Like I like how they feel. I don't know what they're called, but I feel like everything sticks to them and I don't like that. Like my favorites are the high-waisted ones that aren't um, cropped. So they're like full length. And then they have the dots down by the ankle. Those are my favorite fitting ones. And they have the cell phone pockets. Like those are my favorite. So, and I saw that they had an olive green color, but they're all sold out of my size. So that stinks. But there's a Lululemon outlet. What's it called? Huh? Oh, in the Cabazon outlets, which is like an hour and a half from my house. They also have like Gucci there. They have YSL. They have all kinds of stuff there. And they had a Lululemon store. And I really want to check that out because if I could get... Lululemons for half off that would be amazing because I literally wear them every day you know from seeing my OTDs but now we're gonna go we need to get some groceries and then Frank's hungry so we we're thinking about going to Chick-fil-a but we're not sure oh hi <laughs> mm, I look 
looks so rough. I feel like that mask that I did yesterday, was it yesterday? I don't even know. The, when I did the um, Ole Hendrickson mask, I feel like, I mean, I think it detoxed my skin, but you know, like when you do that, it like pulls everything to the surface and I feel like my skin is bad for like two, three, four days. So I think that's what's happening right now. What kind of sandwich did you get? Um, it's, a, it's a deluxe it's a chicken sandwich. And chicken tortilla soup. Yum, never had it. Hopefully it's good. I need to ruin my video. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> That's so cute. Frank hates me right now. <laughs> look at the cakes, but look how cute these are. Grab this one. I want this one. Get this one. Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day, <laughs> I already forgot, uh, Friday the 14th. Um, I just got out of the shower, I blow dried my hair, threw some curls in it, and I feel like I'm still like cutting my bangs like every other day trying to even them up from me messing them up so that's been exciting they just keep getting like shorter and shorter and more uneven and more uneven like i feel like i just need to leave them alone and let a professional do it like what's going on over here like i don't even know what's going on anymore this is the first time i've like really messed them up because normally i trim them myself all the time um and i totally totally screwed them up this time like seriously this is like the worst it's ever been um but anyway so i'm debating what i want to film today i think i'm gonna do a first impressions makeup tutorial because i haul a lot of makeup so i feel like i need to like do a lot of video like testing out makeup um those are like some of my favorite videos to film because then I can see what I like and what I don't like and stuff like that. So I might do that today and do like a mixture of like drugstore and high-end makeup. And then I'm going to film another Ulta haul, but I'll probably make it a part one and part two. Um, I know it seems like I'm always hauling stuff, but a lot of the stuff I just like hold on to and then I finally sit down and haul it. So it's not like I buy it every week, but sometimes. Um, dang it, you Ulta credit card. <laughs> Anyways, but it's cool because one of the Ulta hauls I'm going to do, which not today, I think maybe Monday, um, is from Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And then I saved up all my points and I had almost $200 in points. So I think I got like, I don't know, $300 ish worth of stuff in most of it. The majority of it was on sale. So I already got a discount. So I got more stuff for my money and then I had $200 to use. So really I got, only had to spend like hundred bucks. So I'm excited to film that haul. Um, the new LA Girl eyeshadow palette, it's huge and it's beautiful. I hope it works though. It, it doesn't have the best reviews. And then they have a contour palette that's in the haul. Like I cannot wait. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna do that today. And then I think around like three-ish, um, Jaden and I are going to hit the road and we're going to go to my laser hair removal appointment. So I was going to talk to you guys about that. So I had my first, uh, bikini wax over the summertime and oh my God, I thought that if I could have a baby, like everything else in life would be cake, right? No. Oh my God. It hurt so bad and when she was doing it like she would rip it and i'd put my hand down there because you know that's what you do when something hurts and she'd be like brady stop you're getting wax everywhere and i'm like i can't help it like i'm sure i was the worst client ever like oh my god it hurts so bad i don't ever want to do that again so the place that i took you guys to where I get my lashes done, they used to be in the same building as the laser hair removal. So when I would sit in the waiting room, 
I would see the menu for the laser hair removal and so I'm like hmm well I might as well just get laser hair removal I mean it's in the same building where I get my lashes done so well that was until the lash place moved so eh. but anyways so I had my first appointment I think six weeks ago yes because I'm going today so my first week six I had my first appointment six weeks ago and I was really 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 nervous and I got the numbing cream so I put that on and then I got a level six which I think is like the lowest level but the laser at um the skin agency that's where I go I'm going to take you guys to you can see it too um they have a laser which I don't know anything about anybody else's lasers I'm just telling you like what they told me but when the laser hits you it emits like some kind of like cooling mist at the same time to like cool it down and she said that was like the new thing or whatever so I don't know if every place's laser does that but this one does and I think it really helps um so she did my armpits and that kind of burned a little bit like they said it would feel like a rubber band but to me it felt like little burns um but she did my armpit Sorry, so my memory card was full and for some reason whenever I put this memory card into my computer it won't let me like wipe it. So I just had to delete 12 days of Vlogmas off this memory card. That was fun. Anyway, so when she did my armpits, I felt like that almost hurt worse than when I did the bikini. So now, here's my favorite part. So I just wore a t-shirt dress and a sports bra and like comfortable underwear. Um, and I had to take off my t-shirt dress. So I was sitting there in my sports bra and my underwear and she did my armpits. Okay, fine, whatever. But then I, my, <laughs> I thought a bikini was just like, you know, like what you would see if you were wearing bikini. So a little bit off the top and then the sides and that's it. And she's like, okay, take off your underwear. And I was like, what? And she's like, you wanted a bikini, right? And I was like, yeah, but she pretty much gave me like a Brazilian without like the butt part. So I had to, I was like completely naked and I was not expecting that. And like, I'm like really shy when it comes to that stuff. Um, like down there kind of stuff. Like I don't like that or whatever. So I'm like, great, great. And I'm like, well, I guess there's no, no going back now. So, um, yeah, that was like weird to me because I guess like their version of a bikini is totally different from mine. So I ended up getting like um, an entire like Brazilian, like I said, without like the back part. Um, and that actually wasn't that bad. It was a little weird though, cause she was taking like a stick and like moving stuff around. <laughs> so gross. Um, but that actually didn't hurt that bad. I almost feel like my armpits hurt worse, but I also had the numbing cream and I could still feel a little bit, but I feel like if I had to pick with the numbing cream because I had it I feel like my underarms hurt worse which was which is weird right I don't know um so anyways I got that done and then she told me in the next two to three days it would be kind of like uh dry patchy and I would just have to exfoliate it but that didn't happen to me um maybe because my hair is so light um it's dark enough to get laser but it's also still like light right it's not like black hair or anything so I was like man maybe it didn't work like maybe my hair is just too light and then um so that happened and then I think like two or three weeks later I shaved everything again and then when it just grew back like a week or two ago it was like super patchy so I think it did work it just worked different on me I think so um today will be my second appointment and it's cool because like they do three, again, I'm only going off of like the place I'm going to. I don't know whatever, I don't know what everybody else charges at other laser places, but they do three sessions for $120 and that's bikini and underarm. So I thought that was a good deal. So $120 total for two areas, three times. I don't know, I think that's a good deal. And if you think about it, like a bikini Brazilian wax is what, anywhere between like 50 and $80. So if you're doing that once a month, you might as well just do laser and I feel like it's way less painful. So um, yeah, I'm doing that today. And we're gonna be in uh, Toluca Lake. Uh, so right down the street is uh, Bob's Big Boy. So I might take Jaden there because we're probably gonna have to like wait out traffic. So maybe we'll just like walk down there, like there's a Trader Joe's, so maybe we'll just kind of hang out there for a little bit. Um, and I think that's about it. That's all we're gonna do today. And then tomorrow, we're gonna go to um, 
Magic Mountain, and then Sunday we're gonna try to go to Knott's again. Hopefully it's not as busy. So I will bring you guys along with me to my laser appointment so you can just see like what the building looks like and stuff. I don't know if that's interesting to you guys, but. And uh, yeah, and then wherever we decide to eat, I'll bring you guys along to that as well. So I hope you guys had a good week. Um, do you guys believe in Mercury Retrograde? Mercury retrograde, I think is what it is. I don't know. It's almost kind of like a Santa thing to me where, you know what I mean? But like, I don't know. Like I've been in a funk and like I get in funks at least once or twice a year and they last like a few months and they're like bad, like usually pretty bad. This one isn't that bad this time. Um, but a lot of people are talking about the mercury retrograde and all like the symptoms of it is like everything that I have, which is like totally weird. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below, but, um, I will see you guys after I get done filming, I guess. Hey guys, so I just got done filming a full face of first impressions. Well, minus the foundation. Um, when I do... You guys, these bangs are seriously killing me. When I do um, full face first impressions, I don't like to use a foundation, a new foundation, because I feel like if I use a foundation I already like that gives all the other products a fair chance. And I like to do like dedicated foundation videos where I do a wear test and read you um, the claims and details and stuff like that. So I just finished. I was not planning on doing a full on smoky eye, but that's where it went. <laughs> so I really, look at this eye, look. Look how pretty this eyeshadow is. And it's drugstore. The entire palette is $10. I would buy it just for this lid shade, you guys. So should I just tell you what it is or should I make you watch the video? It's this Profusion palette right here. It's called the Sultry palette. Um, I'm on Profusion's PR list, but I actually bought this before they put me on their PR list. And their palettes are only 10 bucks. I find mine at Target and oh my god, I feel like they're worth every penny. This is going to be such a gorgeous like Christmas look like I can't even deal right now. So anyways, um, I ran out of time because I started late so I don't have time to film any Ulta hauls. So I'm gonna go change my pants <laughs> and then get on the road to my laser hair removal appointment. Here is my December 14th outfit of the day. Again, super exciting, I know. This sweatshirt is from Misguided. It just says West Coast. It's kind of like a charcoal gray. Lululemon leggings, my favorite, and then my Kylie black Puma shoes.
dollars on cookies and sweets. So we decided to walk around Toluca Lake and look at the Christmas lights, mainly because I saw this one. They have every single like thing that has to do with Christmas in their yard. I know, it's really pretty. Supposedly like Steve Carell lives around here and lots of celebrities. I believe it. That's my dream house right here. So we just got home and I'm going to show you guys everything that we bought from Trader Joe's. It's all junk food. So if you love cookies and candies and stuff, then you need to watch. This stuff is so good. We buy it like every year. So the first thing I got is the Smashing S'mores. It's like s'mores candy and there's like a whole big marshmallow in there. These are so good. Marsh wants some. Then I got the dark chocolate covered caramels. If you love caramels, you're gonna love these. These are so good too, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And then these are actually new to me, but I'm sure they're good. This is the, let's see. This is the it, Trader Joe's and the Astounding Multi Flavor JoJo's Chocolate Enrobed Sandwich Cookies, so. These are new to me, I've never seen these, but it says there's double chocolate, cookie and dark chocolate with a milk chocolate drizzle, yum. Then there's peppermint cookie and dark chocolate with crushed peppermint sprinkles, which I think you can buy in a pack, so I've had that one before. And then there's peanut butter cookie and milk chocolate with a dark chocolate drizzle. And then this one, which I'm excited about, is the Vanilla ginger cookie and white chocolate with ginger snap crumbles Yum Then I got my aunt's dogs some treats. They usually like the Sweet potato ones, but they didn't have those at this Trader Joe's and she lives in um, The closest Trader Joe's to her in Kansas is like two and a half hours So she never goes to there. So I got her these gingerbread dog treats Then I got these I think I saw them last year, but we didn't get them. These are the dark chocolate covered peppermint creams. Don't those look delicious? So I got two of those. I don't know if we're gonna keep one or if I'm gonna give bring them both back for Christmas, I don't know. And then I got two of the Candy Cane JoJo's. These are really good too. And I know um, my aunt really likes them and then Frank's family really likes them. So I figured I'd bring them some too. And then, the last thing I got, which I think I'm gonna try tonight, they looked good, but I guess we'll see. These are the Trader Joe's, how do you say this? What? Pfeiffer what? Nooses? Uh, I, I don't know. Pfeiffer Nooses? <laughs> isn't, like that. isn't that how you speak German? Pfeiffer Nooses. Uh, German spice cookies. I don't know, but don't they look really good? So yeah, I'm gonna try these tonight, I think. So yeah, that's everything that we got from Trader Joe's. And then um, we went to Bob's Diner, but the food that I got was not good. Like I had chicken tortilla soup, that was good. And then they had Mr. Pib, which is very hard to find here in California. So obviously I was excited about that. But then my mashed potatoes tasted like those like instant mashed potatoes, like they were not good. The chicken fried steak, I could take or leave it. So I feel like Bob's big boy is like, only good for breakfast and like their burgers. Like I feel like their other food is just like, I don't know. So we did that and then we looked at some Christmas lights and I might film my Alta hauls after this because I didn't get a chance to do that earlier because I ran out of time. So we'll see. I'm trying those German cookies. This is what they look like. They kind of look like donuts and I just open, smell. They are like 
They smell strong like ginger. But I thought they were gonna be like chewy cookies, but I don't think so. Hmm. They're not bad. But they're messy. I think they're good, but I don't think they're something that I would ever buy again. What you doing, Marsh? Hmm? Want a cookie? Nope. No. <laughs> Do you want the cookie? Huh? <laughs> you want it? Nope. You want it? Nope. You can't have the cookie. where the babies went during the day and they're in the backyard cuddled up together where we buried Archie like five years ago. Oh my God. So here is this Vlogmas giveaway. This has to be one of my favorite ones so far. So you're gonna be getting this L'Oreal Butterfly Mascara, this Bang Beauty Gel Eyeliner, some Urban Decay Lashes, Beauty Creations times Boxy Charm Matte Lip Gloss, CoverGirl Pore Minimizing Primer, some Pure Beauty Sponges, this Sephora Lip Gloss right here, Twisted Kisses Lip Pencil, CoverGirl The Super Sizer Mascara, this Liquid Highlighter, some Skincare, a couple of brushes, I guess three brushes. Um, then you're gonna be getting this travel size Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is one of my favorite bronzers. Two of the Buxom Pellow Pout Lips. Then the Boxy Charm Times Pure Cosmetics Palette. Isn't this gorgeous? This is so pretty for the summertime. Then you're gonna be getting the ColourPop My Little Pony Eyeshadow Palette. And then this Profusion Eyeshadow Palette. And then this 111 Skin Eye Lift Gel. So I actually put forth a little bit of effort today for my OOTD and I curled my hair. So I'm wearing this kind of, I don't even know what this material is. It's kind of like wind pant material crop jacket I got from Forever 21. And then I'm wearing this cute little shirt that says, read my lips. This is from Topshop. And the shirt wasn't long enough for me to um, tie with my fingers, so I had to put a hair tie there. So hopefully that doesn't look bad. Then now, uh, big surprise, I'm wearing Lululemon leggings. And then I switched up my shoe game for today. And I'm wearing these Nikes. They're so cute, but they're so hard to get on. Oh my goodness. So this is what I'm wearing today. I'll show you guys my shoes up close. Aren't they super cute? But they're so hard to get on. So we are headed to Hollywood. We're gonna get some souvenirs for Christmas presents. And then we're gonna eat at Mel's um, Diner, which is really good too. I really like their chili. I don't know if I'm like the only one that ever buys or ever orders the chili at restaurants, but that's me. So are you excited? We haven't been to Hollywood since Tyson and Sarah are out here, huh? It's been a while. So we haven't been to Hollywood since like last January, so almost like a year ago. Um, Hollywood's always a good time, so. Lots of people to watch, that's for sure. But we're gonna stop by Wendy's real quick and get a drink and some fries for the road. And yeah, actually wait, no, I've been to Hollywood. Wait, I think I went with April. Yeah, because you went to go see The Handmaid's Tale. Oh yeah, I actually, I've been, I was in Hollywood in April, I think it was, or whatever, and we were watching the red carpet premiere of Handmaid's Tale, so we got to see, like, I don't know any of their names, but we got to see all the actors and actresses walk the red carpet, and that was pretty legit. So, yeah, I take that back, that was pretty cool.
girl. You're actually taller than somebody. Uh, <laughs> it scared Jaden when we came in here.
five, four, three, two, one. And now check your shadow on the wall. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> from being tourists for the day and I wanted to show you guys what I ended up getting at the key store so I've never been to a key store before it's the first time I've ever seen one and they gave me this like 
cute little bag that says stay shady usually when i buy my key sunglasses they come in that like plastic sunglass case that like is not protecting it at all oh, that's cool. so I'll show you. i didn't end up getting any of the jacqueline hill ones because i honestly like i liked how they looked but i didn't like them enough to buy them i guess is what i'm saying so i got these which i don't think a lot of people will like but i like them so what style are these do you hear hazel That's the first time I've ever heard her do that. No, you know this is just gonna make her and Marsh fight. They're gonna like forget about each other and be trying well, to kill each other. <clears throat> That's all That's cool. So I guess these are the key sport sunglasses. So I don't know if this is new or what, but they have two different shades of these. So I got the pink ones. Aren't these so pretty? And then they have ones that are just like a gunmetal, but I really like these. Aren't these cute? And I like that they're like oversized and they're thick. So I feel like they were, they're not gonna be like fragile. And then if you spend over $75, you get a free sunglass case. So I just picked out this one, even though I, this is not gonna like protect your glasses from breaking, but oh well. And then I'm super excited about this. I got the Jaclyn Hill collab like the fold-up case which i think this is genius and i cannot believe that people or maybe this already exists but this is the first time i've ever seen anything like this like this case is super cute and then like you can fit what four pairs of sunglasses in here that means i could put like four of my favorite ones in here and just throw it in my purse and be able to like change them out or when I travel, like this is genius. So I really like figured I would show you guys what was in here. This box is huge. Um, so you get this giant, look, it's like the size of my face. You get this giant card thing that tells you how much everything is. So the first thing in here is another one of those mini straighteners. Um, we got this in Frank's box. I don't know, I'm gonna test one out and then put another, the other one in the giveaway. And then we get this little bag clutch and I guess it has like a portable charger in it. So I like that. I used to have like a portable phone charger but I have no idea where it went so that's cool. Then this is probably my least favorite thing in the box. This is the body wash infused buffer. I have no idea. Um, this retails for $20. Oh, and this is this uh, portable clutch charger thing retails for $22. And then the mini hair straightener retails for $75. I wonder if this is actually good though. Because I feel like years ago I had a mini straightener and it wasn't very good. Um, then I got the Wander Beauty Wanderous Dust Till Dawn palette. Uh, I'll probably put this in a giveaway. How am I going to put a brush in there? I'm going to put this in a giveaway. I think the colors are pretty, but it's just not for me. And then we got this Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream Anti-Wrinkle Day Cream. And this retails for $85. Um, yeah. And then I'm really excited for this. This is like the main thing I wanted. This is the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow Palette. Like I've wanted this for a while. And I love that it came in BoxyCharm. Um, the only other Violet Voss, I don't think I own anything except for the Nicole Concilio palette. And I have honestly haven't even used it yet, but I bought it when it went on sale for like $20. So this is the Holy Grail palette, I believe. It says my Holy Grail on the back. This is, this is, gorgeous this is definitely like an everyday palette Ooh, i cannot wait to play with this then i got the tarte shimmering lip paint in the shade insta famous um we already got this in frank's box so i'm gonna put this in a giveaway and then i got this which 
I'm debating on whether keeping this or not because if I'm being 100% honest, I don't really like Luxie brushes. And this is a really nice set and I think this would be a great like birthday present or Christmas present or for like a giveaway because this is really nice. So I might actually just do that because I'd rather somebody use it and since they're not my favorite, like I don't want to just waste them, you know what I mean? Oh, and then the last thing we got is the Grande Mascara Lash Boosting Formula, and this feels so weird. So the Wonder Beauty Highlighting Palette is 26, the Grande Mascara is 25, Violet Boss is 45, the Tarte Lip Paint is 20, and then the um, brush set is 65, so that's how much? Dang. 65, 75, 85. Okay. I think it's well over $300. And I think this box costs less than 50, so that's freaking awesome. So I think that's it. I'm gonna go take off my makeup. Um, maybe edit some of the pictures that we took today, upload some of those. It's already 11.30, so. Oh yeah, that's the end of this three-day Vlogmas because tomorrow starts a new day. So this is gonna be the end of this three day vlog and I think we're gonna either go to Knott's Bear and Magic Mountain tomorrow. So that will be exciting and good night. I will see you guys tomorrow morning.